Hi Virgo, welcome to your Manila Norman reading and a guidance messages from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Um, this reading will be for November 15th through the 30th for all Virgo suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp. Your guidance messages will be for your sun, moon, and rising sign. I'll do those at the end and then I'll be pulling at the beginning two cards from the Lenormand here for your message for the middle of the month. Hope that sounds good. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. And Spirit, please give me a significator for Virgo. Virgo suns, Virgo moons, Virgo risings from November 15th through the 30th. What do they need to know? What is their significator for Virgo? What is the significator for Virgo? From November 15th through the 30th. We have the ring. What is influencing the ring for Virgo? from November 15th through the 30th. Be sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs here for all the messages, guys. What is influencing the ring, the letter? Brilliant. All right, we'll talk about these next these cards in the next frame. All right, Virgo, the cards that I have for you are the ring plus the letter. And so what I'm seeing is that you may be, um, involved in some kind of a contract here or a written agreement. Um, this could even be, for example, writing a marriage vow, marriage vows. Um, I'm seeing written contracts, written agreements. Um, this will be very important uh, at the latter half of the month for you, Virgo, okay? And again, this is for Virgo suns, moons, and risings. But yes, that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. All right, Virgos, these are your guidance messages for the middle of November. I'll start with Virgo Sun. Okay, you have Simply Love, beautiful. This resonates with the Six of Cups. So this is about simple love. And that can be anything from spending time with your child, if you have children, to just doing things that you enjoy doing. Um, it can even mean spending time with you know your grandparents, your relatives, your mom and dad. Um, just holding hands with someone. Um, little little gestures here go a long way. And um, just find the most simplest, simple things that you can do to show your love to others. And if you have a Virgo moon, we have Choose Your Battles. So this resonates with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it feels like you have... Um, I get the feeling that you have a lot of people that want to pick a fight with you. Um, and it may be that, you know, each of these people has a different perspective on your situation. Um, there's definitely one person here in particular that's kind of wants to pick a battle with you. And maybe there are two other people that are also facing off. And this is just saying, you know, is it really worth your time? Um... It feels very overwhelming. It feels like you have a lot of challenges, a lot of adversity. But, um, you know, not all of these battles are going to be worth fighting. So just pick your battles wisely. And um, remember just to stand up for yourself. And, um, and this is about defending your beliefs as well. And, and, and um, But maybe some of these people are not worth your time. All right, and if you are a Virgo rising, we have Change Your Focus. All right, so this resonates with the Five of Cups. And it's really saying that um, you have kind of you kind of have like a, a kind of a narrow-minded approach. You may be like really dwelling on an issue and um, or just you may be in a place of despair or sadness and you just are just having a hard time getting out of that rut. So this is saying that you need to kind of gently change your focus to something else. Um, and that can be done by, if you're in a really bad mood and kind of a funk, you know, go listen to something funny. Go surround yourself with people that are funny or people that make you laugh and, and or do something that um, somehow shifts your vibration. That's what I'm seeing is that you need to sort of sh shift your vibration because you may be in a place where you're kind of getting yourself in a rut by going over and over the same thoughts. And, um, yeah, that's, that's definitely the feeling that I'm getting here. So changing your focus is really going to allow you to see things differently and kind of clear the air. 
All right, guys, these are your messages, and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of November. Happy holidays to you, and I will see you back in December for the love forecast. Take care.